Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion on point number two of God, where are you? That is growing pains. Growing pains. Uh, whether we like it or not, life are full of good and bad, as well as soothing moment, wonderful moment, and painful moment. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 and 2 says this, Dear brothers and sisters, when I was with you, I couldn't talk to you as I was. I would to spiritual people or people who live by the Spirit. I had to talk as though you belong to this world or as though you were infants in Christ. I had to feed you with milk, not with solid food, because you weren't ready for anything stronger and you're still unready you know paul talks about growing pain you know some people are uh, they're willing to go through difficult time and trying time so they grow and mature faster whereas others try to escape you know they they have this attitude escapism every time when they go to difficult time they escape every time when they, they have go to a job problem they escape they change job or uh, every time when they go to a misunderstanding or pain in relationship they back out of the relationships you know and uh, and paul says i said he addressed the church in korean he said i cannot call you as adult you know i call you as baby as children because you know why you are not ready for hard thing because you are all the time trying to look for ways to escape hebrews 5 verse 12 says in fact though by this time you ought to be teachers you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God, God's word, all over again. Yet, you need milk, not solid food. You know, and uh, are you still living, behaving, acting like a child? Little bit not happy with this, not happy with that, angry with this, upset with a person, and angry with this person, or so on. Well, grow up. That's what the Bible says especially through this pandemic season. Hebrews 5 verse 12 says, In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, all right, and, uh, and uh, you need someone to teach you the elementary truth and uh, of, of, of God's word all over again, you need milk, not solid food. That's what it says. Why? It's so difficult. Now look at verse 8. Verse 8 says, Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things he suffered. Means he was willing to go to difficult times so that he can grow, so they can learn to submit, learn to be more obedient, learn to be more faithful to God. You see, the Christian life has some parallels, all right, to how a child grows. When I entered my first spiritual wilderness experience, it was a spiritual infant many years ago when I came to know the Lord. You know, as does every child needed to grow towards maturity, maturity, where the time came when they need to learn to fit themselves, to learn to start standing up, start walking themselves, uh, and, 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 and so, so it can be messy, it can be painful. You know, and uh, you know, when a child learns to eat, if food are all over the place, and all over the clothes, and all over the body, and when a child going to you know uh, walk you know begin to learn to stand up and take one or two steps you know you will knock your head you will hit your head on the table or you will fall on the ground and hurt yourself and so so forth. It's, it, and, and you cry it is painful but it's part and parcel of growing up and in that messy in that painful in that difficult situation you and i as adults we don't jump in to help immediately it's a growing process and thus, do not revert back to spoon feeding, hand holding again as they are growing up. I remember my children as they grow older, you know, they learn to walk. They doesn't even want me to hold their hand anymore. They want to walk on their own. And, 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 and the Bible tells us this is part and parcel of growing up. And it's an experience we all have to go through. You know, as babies grow the level of assistance they receive changes. 
to encourage growth and development. As a baby grows, and as a baby begins to turn, as a baby continues to grow to the stage of a toddler and so on, you know, the, the, the level of uh, uh, assistance changes, they, you don't, they, didn't, they don't need the help as they used to. Why? Because it's a source of, it's a way of growing in, in, in their life. God does a similar thing with us. We can, you know, uh, develop, okay, and mature spiritually. When you are, we are newborn baby in Christ, a new believer in Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit for a season, God manifests Himself and every cry, every need that we have in life. But after some time passes, and after when we are growing up for a season, you know, and hopefully we move beyond just wanting milk and crying out for milk and crying out for help and crying out for assistance in order to help us grow and mature. God allows, God allows us to go through times in which He does not respond instantly to our every call our every cry, our every desperate desperation. When God helped us, you know, when the Lord helped me understand that growing in spiritual maturity was something like the process every person must experience from childhood to adulthood, I became more and more reflective and wondered, have I been wrong in the way I live, in the way I behave, in the way I act? Or is what I'm going through not some kind of a permanent uh, a punishment from God? Sometimes we wonder, is it a punishment from God I have to go through this difficult time again and again? Or is it possible that I have been led to the wilderness to learn something, to grow in some way that will make me better equipped to follow Jesus and to serve Him for a later day in my life? The truth is, you are not just going through a wilderness season. You are growing through it. One more time, the truth is this. You are not just going through a wilderness season, a wilderness pain in your life. You and I are going through growth. You and I are growing through the wilderness season. You know, when your person grows, your bone stretches, your muscle stretches, your flesh stretches, your nerve stretches, and it is painful because it from a smaller body to a bigger body. The same thing was in a spirit realm, in our Christian walk with God. When we go through the season of wilderness and dryness and difficulties and struggle, you know what? You are not just going through the wilderness season of testing and trying, but you are growing through it to make you stronger and a better person. And your perspective and the understanding of God is bigger and greater. Amen. Amen. So therefore, it is part and parcel of our growing process as a Christian. Remember this. What you and I are going through in this pandemic is part and parcel of our growing process. That God is helping you and I to, to learn, to be able to see how to redefine our walk, our life, and our work, and our businesses, our career, and our relationships with Him and with people around us. And learn it. And learn it well. It comes only once in this season of our life, this long season of our life for a lot of us to learn a whole lot of things in our life so that we can grow to become a better person. Amen? Amen? Growing pain. It is part and parcel of growing up. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray to you help us to grow in you, to become a better person, a stronger person, a more faithful person. Uh, help us to learn to, you know, re to reorientate us to have a better perspective of you, of me, ourselves, and of situation so that we can grow and learn the lessons that you want us to learn so that we can grow in you and mature in you. All this we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day. Amen. God bless.